Hello and welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> welcome to Vlogmas Day 16, I think we're up to. It has been a rough morning so far. Um, not a bad morning, just a rough morning. It's Tuesday, but I'm not going to the house today. I'm going tomorrow because I've got a hair appointment tomorrow. So that means today I get to listen to the landscapers off and on all day. They've been out there for two hours. And they'll be out there for at least a few more hours. Yeah, I could not wake up this morning. And then I finally get out here. I've got a call starting in five minutes. And I'm like, okay, just get everything done. Just get everything, you know, get the vlog pushed live for today. Get your desk straightened out. Get everything plugged in that needs to be plugged in. You know, I was thinking it's gonna be fine. It's all gonna be okay. Then I go to turn my laptop on and it wouldn't turn on. Thankfully, it seems like things are working now. It's just really slow. I need to, uh, I'll probably put things on Instagram in a minute. So today I have, the reason why I'm frantically trying to start this vlog right now, even though I'm like a headless chicken at the moment, need to plug my iPad in, is because I have two calls this morning. Um, and one is a long call that will go into the afternoon. I don't think I'm done with that call until like 2.30, 3 o'clock. I will try to talk to you in between, and I know there's gonna be a break on that call that I can try to vlog, but I don't know what I will manage to vlog during that call, during any of the calls. So I wanted to start the vlog. It might be more of an afternoon, evening vlog today. It is a very cloudy day. It's not that cold. It's already 61. This time yesterday, it was still in the low 50s. So it's gonna get up to 69. So it's gonna be a more mild day. And they're saying there might be some rain. It is a bit humid out for us. It's 54% humidity. So I'm not sure if we'll actually get any rain but they're saying light rain starting in 28 minutes, lasting for 11 minutes. We'll see how accurate that is. Yeah, it's gonna be more of a mild, not hot, not even warm, but not cool, not that cold either. Looks like it's just gonna be mostly cloudy all day. So I've got my first call, which I need to jump on, and then, um, just gonna try to get as much done as I can today after my other call. So that is the hope for today. So we'll just play it by ear and see how things go. <laughs> considerably later <laughs> yeah I just had the most amazing call but it was nearly six hours long we took one like not even 15 minute break oh my gosh it was just it was incredible it's um, to do with my business my coaching business and like wanting to get that off the ground so hopefully there'll be more to talk about with that in future vlogs, right now I just can't even like wrap my brain around it all. It's just, <sighs> but I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling very optimistic and hopeful about the future, which is a lovely feeling. 
to be honest, but it is now nearly 4.30 in the afternoon. So it is quite a bit later. But yeah, that was honestly mind blowing, but really, really good. Just so helpful. Like I actually, I feel, I was telling her, I feel overwhelmed, but in a good way, in a, a way that like, I'm ready to like dive in and start doing stuff. Whereas normally when I feel overwhelmed, I want to just like go run and hide and not do anything. <laughs> so feeling pretty good, which is a lovely feeling. Yeah. Now I like I don't I don't know what to do now. Like it's too late to start like any big projects. I don't think I'm gonna get any book work done. But after sitting at this desk all day, I also just kind of really want to go for a walk. I don't have a lot of energy, so I don't think I can do like a long walk or a really intense walk. But I'm thinking just a slow walk around the block might be a good thing right now. I'm just I'm I'm tired but I'm so energized from the call that I just feel really kind of buzzed and hyper and it's getting to that time of day where I need to be kind of calming down. So I think if I go for a walk for like 30 minutes and then come back and edit the vlog for tomorrow and then I can just make dinner, relax, unwind and go to sleep tonight. Yeah, my, my mind is just racing right now. There's a lot to do, there's a lot to think about, but I'm feeling more excited about my work and my my business goals and my plans than I have felt in ages. So basically, a, a very good friend, her business is as a business strategist, and so she helps people like me who are trying to start a business and just don't know what we're doing. I know what I'm doing, but I just, I don't, there's a lot of moving parts and I get very overwhelmed and I'm not good with the strategy side. Once I know what to do, I'm, I just, I move forward. I, I don't drag my feet. I get stuff done. It's like how I got my, that's how I got through my PhD, right? So like there was a definitive goal and that goal was broken down into steps. There were classes I had to take. Each class had a sequence of assignments. So I would do the assignments, I'd pass the class, I'd move on to the next class. And then after the coursework was checked off, then it was my portfolio papers and passing the portfolio review. And then once I did that, then it was the comp exam. I you know had my reading list. I moved through all of that. Like I would the PhD was broken down into all of these actionable steps and they had a specific order that everything had to get done. I got through everything, completed all the steps, checked off all the boxes, got my PhD. That is obviously an overly simplified version of the sequence of events, but basically, you know, it was a very clear-cut goal with clear-cut steps and I got everything done. When you're starting a business, and I've been doing this, like if you've been watching me since graduation, you'll know that I started off thinking I was gonna be a copywriter. Then I got into the self-publishing and I'm still doing the self-publishing, but I'm realizing what I really wanna, like the books are my passion project. The books are a hobby that can potentially become more than a hobby down the road but I never want to give up teaching. I always want to teach. And so I really want to be a writing coach. And I want to work with people who not just are wanting to work on creative writing projects and novels, but work with people who are who have a business and want to feel more confident about their writing abilities or people who have a bigger writing project that they want to do for their business but they don't really know where they're starting. Like I want to be the person that helps them feel more confident as a writer and get through a big writing project because I know how overwhelming it can feel. And so my friend who is a business strategist very kindly offered me a free half day strategy session, which turned into almost a full day. Like I said, it was like five, five hours and 45 minutes almost by the time we finished. I'm just so beyond grateful for it because like it makes sense now it like I can see that this could work now and I'm feeling excited about it and feeling far less daunted because I'm realizing I don't have to accomplish as much as I thought I did 
to reach the goals that I want. Long story short, I am just over the moon and feeling really, really optimistic about things. It's giving me a lot to think about over my kind of winter break within winter break, because obviously I'm on winter break from work, but I'm giving, this year, I don't think I did it last year, this year I'm giving myself a full week off after Christmas. I'm not even gonna work on book stuff unless I feel completely motivated, but I'm not gonna make myself sit down and work. I'm gonna give myself the time off and just let myself think about all of this and like journal and write notes and just write down ideas and thoughts and stuff and I'm I'm really excited. <laughs> like I don't want to wish the time away. I don't want to I was telling um, my friend on the call I said I don't want to you know wish away Christmas. I want to enjoy Christmas but I actually kind of am looking forward to January now. So yeah it was really really good. Um, I'm very excited now. So that's exciting. I feel like I'm ending this year in a really good place and I'm actually going to be looking forward to the new year. I don't always. January usually feels like a very kind of just not so good time. Like it's a new year and it's a fresh start but Christmas is done and my favorite time of year has ended and now I've like the countdown starts all over until the next holiday season. I feel like the last two years in particular, I was really optimistic for the next year. So like 2018, going into 2019, I was really optimistic. 2019 was going to be my year and it was going to be amazing and I was going to do all these things. And then within the first few months, I had my heart completely broken by my ex. <laughs> it was not not what I thought was going to happen. I honestly, as far as that relationship was concerned, I thought 2019 was gonna go in the complete opposite direction. And that I wouldn't be single again, but that it might be even more evolved. The relationship would move on to the next stage. So I feel like 2019, I was completely blindsided. And it just, everything I had written down in my year compass for 2019 and all of my dreams and goals for 2019 got really shaken if not completely obliterated by that breakup because obviously the relationship was a huge thing I was looking forward to that kind of evolving and then it didn't it just kind of vanished and so that was a huge disappointment and then that disappointment led into just a complete lack of motivation for almost anything else and so all of my other goals suffered because I was processing this huge heartbreak and kind of life change because it did my life completely changed my life as I as I knew it suddenly was completely different and I had to figure out okay if this isn't a thing what what is going to happen instead and so going into 2020 I felt like I'd processed a lot of this heartbreak and I was feeling in a much stronger place my first book was out I'd been to London, I'd had an amazing conference presentation and there was a lot I was looking forward to like 2020 you know, 2019 ended up not being my year, but 2020 was going to be my year. And then we all know how that turned out. And so I feel like as I've been approaching, and then 2021, it was kind of the same thing. And in 2020, I felt like, okay, 2019 didn't work out. 2020 wasn't that great. I was gonna try to be more realistic and optimistic about 2021. I was really focusing on like, myself and not on external goals and I feel like I did accomplish a lot of that. I feel like I have made a lot of progress on who I am, what I want, how I approach things. My anxiety is better, my depression is better, like they still exist but I don't spiral as much as I used to. It's been a while. Like I, I had a panic attack a couple weeks ago and that felt totally hormone related and I'm still like processing with coming off the birth control pill so I put it down to that because that was the first panic attack I'd had in like two or three months and so 
I feel like in a lot of ways I have like achieved a lot of my goals. When I look at, and my year compass is still in this planner. When I look at my year compass for this year, for 2021, I've accomplished, I've accomplished a lot of these goals. So some of these goals I haven't met, but a lot I have. And so I feel like 2021 did end up being better than I thought. And my big goal for 2021 was to prepare was to have things in place so that when the pandemic finally kind of moves on to the next stage, resolves itself, like whatever the new normal, the new new normal, I feel like we're living in a new normal right now. I feel like I've become used to like the whole pandemic situation, but like once this is done and we're like actually like doing more stuff out and about and I can have bigger goals that I'm my goal for this year was to be ready to move forward with those and I feel like particularly with the call today I am going to be going into 2022 with a very solid plan with knowing exactly what I need to do to achieve those goals and so I feel like after two years of just things massively not working out and then a year of things being good but just not having any like like the the major differences have all been internal. It's all been in how I feel and how I think. And so there aren't a whole lot of outward tangible results to that work. I'm now ready for a year where I do start seeing some of those outward tangible results. I'm feeling excited. I really am feeling excited. Anyway. Been, that's been a lovely 16 minute ramble but that's where I'm at just thinking about this year and next year and just how things are changing I will talk more about like plans and stuff there will be a video um after vlogmas ends after the new year where I'm like life update setting out some of those goals but for now I think I want to get the footage imported from the SD card so that the vlog is ready for when I come back. And then while that's importing, I'm gonna go put my shoes on, change out of my cozy leggings into some workout leggings, put my shoes on, get my water bottle, put my hair up, and go out for just a short walk. That is what we're gonna do. I will take you with me, and then we'll settle in for a nice cozy evening at home. After a really, really good day. I've been having a lot of good days lately. I kinda don't know what to think about that. But I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm just going to enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, I am home. I had a lovely walk. <laughs> it's really nice out. And now I'm ready to just sit down and do nothing. <laughs> I need to edit the vlog, but then the rest of the night I really wanna just zone out. 
my brain is just done. It is, it's just done. So I'm not even gonna try to talk. I'm gonna do our question for Vlogmas, our Vlogmas question of the day. Okay, I've asked you your favorite movie that you have to watch at this time of year that's not a Christmas movie. So now I'm gonna ask you what is your favorite actual holiday movie? So movie set around this time of year, focused on this time of year. I think for me, anyone who's watched this channel for any length of time will probably guess, but my favorite holiday movie is The Holiday with Kate Winslet and Cameron Diaz. I haven't yet watched it this holiday season. I usually watch that a little bit closer to Christmas. Sometimes I watch it after Christmas, so like between Christmas and New Year's, but it's definitely something that I watch at least once a year around this time of year. Sometimes I might also watch it like in the middle of June or July, but yeah, I absolutely love The Holiday. It has been my favorite holiday Christmas film since it came out, but I always watch it at this time of year and I absolutely love that film. Um, I love the characters, I love the locations, I love the writing, the music is incredible. I listen to the soundtrack all year long. The film score is just perfection. That's my favorite holiday movie. Let me know what your favorite Christmas holiday movie, holiday season movie is. I'd love to know. And yeah, I'm gonna go sit down and edit. It is 5.38, so I think I can get the vlog edited before seven and then I will have dinner at about seven. getting quite dark in here. <laughs> Let me just uh, sit for a minute. It's getting late. I've been turning all the lights out. Oh, I've got Advent chocolate. I need to eat. I feel like I just forget for like two days at a time, two or three days, and then I'll have two or three days of chocolates that I need to eat, which I mean, it's not a problem. But I almost forgot about those again. Yeah, it's after 10. It's like almost, I think it's even after 10.30 or like about 10.30. So I need to go to bed because I've got kind of an early morning tomorrow. I'm very sleepy. So I'm probably going to, um, brain is not functioning anymore. I'm probably going to do a tiny bit of reading. Oh, I've got a low battery light. Yeah, the battery died. It always manages to die when I only need like 60 more seconds with it. Turn these lights out. I think that's everything out here. It's 68 degrees in here, which makes me very happy. I need to close my bedroom window still. Um, and then just get in bed. Get in bed, snuggle up get my iPad mini, read maybe one more chapter in the book I'm reading, but it is currently, oh, it's even later. It's 10.57. I really need to stop staying up past 11 o'clock. I've been staying up until midnight lately, and that's not what I want to do. I really want to be going to bed at like 11. I'm still going to read a chapter though. <laughs> It's, I have no self-control when it comes to reading, but yeah, I'm going to get in bed and read. I will see you all tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, all of that great stuff, and I will see you all tomorrow in the next day of Vlogmas. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye!